Hi, my name is Stephen West. I am the business development manager for Emerson Field Communicators, which of course has been the tried and true 475 and now the brand new AMS Trex device communicator designed with the user in mind. Three important features with that in mind. One is go anywhere, meaning it's intrinsically safe, no need for hot work permits or any concerns about safety. Number two, you can work more efficiently with powerful applications and an intuitive user interface. And third is do more with one tool, meaning you can do loop diagnostics, use it as a digital multimeter, and of course, power the loop, which is the feature I want to show you today. So I have my AMS Trex device communicator connected to a transmitter with the leads and of course connected to the heart connection. And I am doing this incorrectly on purpose to demonstrate that the powerful intuitive user interface would help a brand new person who had very little experience or knowledge about the product would be able to walk through the on screen instructions and have no problems taking care of this task. So I would press the field communicator icon and it's trying to establish heart communications. Of course it cannot. This device is not currently powered. I have not supplied power. So no voltage detected, no communications. Ask me what would I like to do? I'd like to establish heart communications. So I press that button. Do you intend to provide power from the Trex unit? Of course, this is power to loop. But in the case I had loop power and I happened to say yes, it would detect power and would not let me interfere with the control system or damage the Trex unit. So in this case, I'll say yes. Is it a positioner or transmitter? In this case, it is a transmitter. And now you'll see that as it's trying to establish voltage, I am connected to the wrong terminals, as I said. If I'm used to a 475, I don't even have a power to loop feature. So you can see on screen that I need to remove the lead set from those terminals to those terminals. So as you can see here, I remove from the heart terminals to those enabled heart plus power, like so, and hit retry just following the on-screen directions. Now it is supplied power, it detects a voltage, heart is detected, it's now loading the DD which is device descriptor file and you will see it establish communication and bring up the powerful and comforting user interface that looks just like AMS device manager if you're familiar with that product. And so there it is, Power the Loop by the brand new AMS Trex device communicator. To get more information, visit our website at emerson.com forward slash Trex, T-R-E-X. Thank you.